Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the feasts of Saints Simon and Jude, Apostles of the Lord. Let us ask for their prayers that we too may be faithful to our calling to be disciples of Jesus. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of good goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we, we adore you, we glorify you, you we, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God Son, Son of the Father, Father you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. You take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Receive our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of our Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members 
of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth, their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with yours. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a Silot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. As I mentioned at the beginning of the Mass, we are celebrating today the Feast of Saints Simon and Jude. Today's Simon is different from Simon Peter. There are two different peoples. Then Jude is not Judas Iscariot, although in the gospel he is also called Judas, the son of James. Little is known about these two. We know from the gospel that Simon was called a silot. Sa Tagalog po, ang karaniwang translation ay makabayan. Siya yung nabibilang sa isang uh, radikal na grupo sa loob ng Judaism. Talagang passionate bilang isang Hudyo, Simon the Silot. Sa buhay ni Simon the Silot, si Simeong Makabayan, ipinakikita sa atin na walang contradiction yung maging alagad ni Jesus at maging mapagmahal sa bayan. In fact, it is true that a real disciple must be a true Filipino, a true countryman. 
Akala natin kung misan magkahiwala yun eh. Hindi. Ang sang tunay na alagad ni Jesus ay dapat na tunay na makabayan. Katunayan, ang ating pagiging makabayan ay dapat na nagmumula sa ating pagiging tunay na alagad ni Jesus. Kaya kung tayo tunay na kristyano, dapat bilang mga Pilipino, ang mga desisyon natin, ang mga pagpili natin, ang buhay natin bilang Pilipino ay nagpapahayag o naglalarawan ng ating pagiging tunay na alagad. O sa lunes, botohan na naman. Botohan ng barangay uh, SK. Pipili na naman kayo o tayo ng ating mga barangay officials. Pipili na naman tayo ng mga miyembro ng sangguniang kabataan. Anong magiging pamantayan natin sa pagpili? Okay. Sige nga. What will be the basis of our choice? Will it be our Christian values? Or will it be how much I am getting from the candidates? Sa lunes, ipakita natin ng pagiging Kristiyano ay hindi hiwalay sa pagiging mabuting Pilipino. Katulad ni Simeon, isang makabayan pero isang alagad ni Jesus. Kay Judas naman, okay, St. Jude, kung ayaw nyo ng Judas, no? St. Jude, well, sinasabi na si St. Jude ang patron ng mga wala ng pag-asa, no? Hopeless cases. Pag napuntahan mo na lahat ng mga santo at wala pa rin nangyayari sa dasal mo, pumunta ka na kay St. Jude. Yun ang last recourse. Well, bakit? Eh kasi, batay sa mga kwento, yun daw mga unang kristyano, hindi nagdadasal kay Judas. Kasi ang naaalala nila, si Judas na nagtaksil kay Jesus. Eh kapangalan eh. No? Imagine mo, Saint Jude, pray for us. And then ang naraaalala mo ay si Judas Iscariote. Kaya sa daw ang huling nilalapitan ng mga unang Kristiyano. But even then, ipinakikita sa atin na kumisan yung mga huling nilalapitan natin ang siya pang nakakatulong sa atin. Kumisan yung mga hindi natin pinapansin, nilalampasan, yun pa ang talagang tutulong sa atin. Kaya nga hilingin natin ng panalangin ni na San Simeon at San Judas Tadeo. Nawa ang kanilang mga panalangin at halimbawa ay maging mga totoong buhay natin. Si Simeon bilang isang tunay na alagad at tunay na makabayan. At si Judas, si, Hud, si San Judas Tadeo na nilalapitan kahit na sa huling pagkakataon. Amen. Please all stand. As part, as part of a building that has the apostles and prophets as its foundation, let us bring our intercessions before the Father of mercies as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be continued growth of the Catholic Church through the preaching and examples of our religious leaders and missionaries, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the energy and zeal of Saint Simon, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that we may imitate that solicitude and humility of St. Jude, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the Lord may grant healing to those who are sick and strength to those who are in despair, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may enjoy forever the fullness of God's saving power, which they have always longed for, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions. Merciful Father, as we pray for others, may we share in the apostolic service of those who were called and chosen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please hold stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially Simon and Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, with one common Father in heaven, we pray. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please all stand. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Thank <laughs> you.